County, <laughs> County Engineer on the Good morning, Mr. Chairman, board members. This is the uh, FDOT Scott program. Road selected 227, County 227 from 301 to uh, we're 18 turns. This was put into the program several years ago. Is all of our is funded by the FDOT under Scrap Scott and Sydney uh, programs, and uh, we'll probably run into the same thing with this one that uh, the estimate was done before we start doing the CEI, uh, and then we've got additional services. So, uh, if I may, I'll ask Mr. Sexton to read the resolution. The resolution of the Board of County Commissioners of Bradford County, Florida, approving execution of a small county outreach program agreement with the State of Florida Department of Transportation for the widening and resurfacing of Southwest County Road 227 from Southwest County Road 18 to Southwest State Road 200, providing direction to staff and providing an effective date. In, in your packet, you may read that's 218 and some other things. Uh, I'll just ask you to ignore those. It's, it is 18, county is 18. I'll make a motion to approve the resolution of the Second. I have a motion and a second. And, and also a question. Go ahead. Is, are, are, the, uh, are most of the dump trucks done running that route now? I would say most of them are, yeah. Okay, because that's yeah. kind of the thing. That hill, they do close it. That, that's what I was wondering. I hadn't seen many trucks. I haven't seen any in a while. Yeah. Just, just, there was just a few trucks uh, about a month ago. Okay. Not, not enough to get concerned about. So okay. right. I, th I think it's a safe state and say most of them. Uh, yeah. right. when, when would this new truck start, Mr. Kelly? We have until the end of next year, always the end of next year, to have the plans done. There. Yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that because it will require a, a good survey. You know, we've got uh, a bad S curve that road. I wish we could have done something about that. And uh, the drainage along that road, not to mention the cross pipes. Purchased a fire truck from Hillsborough County, a 2000 E1 Typhoon model Class A pumper. Um, when we purchased it, it had 121,000 miles on it. We used it up until here recently, where the engine had a catastrophic failure. Specifically, the number one cylinder overheated and dropped valves on top of the piston and welded the, the valves of the piston. What's important to know about that is that the at the time of its failure, it had 9,900 hours on it. So getting with E1 and you put a number to the hours of 45 miles per hour, that engine had 445,500 miles on it. It's a great truck. The fire body's in good, good shape. The pump's in good shape. The truck interior's in good shape. Uh, we recently uh, converted it all over to LED, which significantly helped the charging system of the truck. The truck doesn't have a lot of computers on it, and it doesn't have a depth system, the, the uh, environmental control systems for the exhaust. We have the master EBT for the city of Gainesville come over and look at uh, the truck in its dismantled state at Florida Tractor. He agrees to the repair. He, uh, he advises us to go ahead and repair the truck because we will not be able to find a truck of that quality 
anywhere in, in Florida, if we buy a new truck, we'll be, uh, we'll be spending this kind of money um, on considerably. I, I would like to repair the truck. We have the money. What year is it? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a 2000. To replace the truck, um, again, we'll be looking for a used piece of equipment. I don't think we're going to be able to find a 2000 model E1 Typhoon. E1 is, is the fire truck manufacturer in Ocala. It's relatively close, so we don't have to go far, far for parts. Um, and with the increasing newer trucks, we're getting more into the death problem and we're getting into electronics. And if I might, one reason that we wanted to uh, clearly put this, uh, to put this on the agenda, even if it was with the, uh, within the uh, range that we could prove, it just seemed to me that we were bored making a lot of decisions that, that sort of went together. In other words, the fire assessment, uh, this cost, uh, chief wears uh, uh, employment by the uh, temporary agency, uh, all of that is uh, is really dependent upon the, the county pursuing the, the fire business, so to speak. So that's the reason we put it on. It's, it's that you all have taken uh, the other steps so far. So. Uh, we, we want to put this one in the mix. It is, if we're going to stay in the fire business, I would think, Chief, you would uh, consider it a necessity. Absolutely. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, items D through L are presentations made by organizations uh, previously, and at this time we're just asking direction from the board on if you would like to fund those budget requests that have been made. So the first item, item D, is um, a request, or rather seeking direction from the board if you desire to fund the budget request made by the Florida Department of Health in the amount of $10,000 for mental health services. They made their budget presentation on July 19th. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. Uh, Item E, does the board desire to fund the budget presentation made by concerned citizens of Bradford County in the amount of $10,000 this is an increase of $634. Uh, since fiscal year 12-13, the board has contributed $9,366 to concerned citizens, and this is for operating expenses. They made their budget presentation on August 6th. Item F, does the board desire to fund a budget request for fiscal year 1819 made by the North Florida Regional Chamber of Commerce in the amount of $12,000, $12,500 for services and promotion to small businesses and the community? 
um, a budget presentation was made on August 6th. desire to fund in fiscal year 1819 budget a request made by fiscal children's services in the amount of five thousand dollars is the same as <coughs> for the one the budget year that we're currently in for child care programs for low-income parents a budget presentation was made august 6th 